Coorg or Kodag, often reckoned as the Switzerland of India, is well known for its spices, unique in flavor and aroma, especially the small cardamom, a crop known as the green gold or queen of spices. But high incidences of pests and diseases, low productivity, etc., are causing heavy economic loss to cardamom growers. The farmers in the region were in sheer need of a permanent solution to their burning problems for making cardamom cultivation a profitable one. Rising up to the occasion, the Indian Institute of Spice Research and its Cardamom Research Center at Appangala in Kodaga district of Karnataka finally came to the rescue of growers with a farmer-friendly technology for increasing cardamom productivity in Kodaga, thus rewriting the fate of this wonderful crop. Over years of field experiments and demonstrations, the center has developed a high production technology package for intensive cultivation of cardamom. And the rest is history. High yielding varieties, healthy plants, rejuvenated plantations, and of course, the beaming faces of planters who are happier than ever before. All these tell the tale of unrelenting efforts of CRC to revive the old charm of the Queen of Spices in Kodaga. The Indian Institute of uh, Spices Research Gori Code is one of the premier research organizations in the country under the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICAR. The Kardama Research Center at Appangla, that is Kodagu district of Karnataka, which is engaged in the research on cardamom. Our aim is to develop the technologies which solves the farmer's problem. For example, in cardamom, the two major problems are cutte disease and rhizome rot. We have developed varieties which are resistant to both the diseases and also we take care of the yield. All the technologies developed are demonstrated in farmers' plots and several estates like Lakshmi estate or Sandalcourt estate and the farmers, once they are convinced, the technology is spread to other farmers also. Pardamum Research Center of IISR at Appangala in Kodaga district of Karnataka is the one and only ICAR center for the research and development of small cardamom. This is a Sandalkar estate, a 150-year-old, well-managed plantation now owned by the cousin brothers Faisal Siddiq and Shamvil Nizam from Boikeri village of Kodaga. Faisal and Shamvil were not much aware about plantation management during their college days. In fact, they were destined to take care of a property of nearly 225 acres inherited from their grandfathers. Coffee was their main crop and black pepper was also grown as an intercrop. Around 10 years back, the duo ventured into cardamom cultivation in one acre on an experimental basis. But factors such as diseases, poor soil fertility, and low yielding trait of the variety shattered their dreams and expectations. Eager to increase the yield, the young farmers approached the scientists of Cardamom Research Center at Appangala for their guidance and advice. It was just the beginning of a healthy rapport between the scientists and farmers a prerequisite for success in agriculture. Scientists from CRC and IISR visited the plantation and interacted with the farmers to identify major production constraints faced by them. Uh, I moved in here along with my uh, brother Shamil in the year 2000 after graduation and um, we started looking into the plantation activities and we saw that cardamom uh, here uh, was not doing too well and um, with the help of our self-help group uh, you know that we formed with the many grows around here uh, we started interacting with various scientists and um, we also interacted with uh, the scientists at the cardamom research center Appangala. 
uh, and uh, they you know kind of uh, initially started helping us with how to set up the whole uh, thing and uh, we uprooted our uh, robusta areas about uh, six acres initially and we uh, uh, supplied them with the uh, Nelyani variety from Kerala uh, which started you know uh, giving us good deals uh, in a matter of uh, three years. In order to gain hands-on knowledge on different cultivation practices and production technologies followed by other progressive farmers, the scientists took the planters to model plantations in various parts of Kodaga and Idiki district of Kerala. The scientists identified high incidence of Katte disease as the major problem for low yield level of cardamom in Sandalkard estate. As per their advice, the farmers removed all the old and diseased plants in the estate and replanted with IISR Kodaga Suvasini or Apangala 1, a high yielding cardamom variety released by IISR. Land races of cardamom like Nyalani Green Gold were also planted in some areas. Before planting, 10 to 15 kilograms of farmyard manure and 25 grams of furidin were applied in the pits. After fourth month of planting, 10 kilograms of farmyard manure was applied to boost the growth of the plants. Pre and post monsoon applications of 10 kilograms of farmyard manure were also carried out from the second year onwards. Basal application of 1 to 2 kilograms of agricultural lime per plant in a year was also regularly carried out. Inorganic fertilizers were applied as per the recommendations based on soil testing for vigorous growth of plants. Plant protection schedules with recommended pesticides were adhered to save the crop from major diseases and insect pests. The plants were irrigated at the rate of 8 to 10 liters of water per plant per day using sprinklers from February onwards. The farmer, Mr. Paisal and Mr. Samuel are the members of self-help group of Boikeri. So through that, there was a lot of interaction earlier to solve the problems of production in cardamom. Then in cardamom, they had a one problem, there was a cutte disease of cardamom and low production and then drainage and then the, the variety suitable to this zone. These are all the problems they were facing to increase the yield. So after the discussion with the farmers and self help group, we introduced a high production technology in Sandal Card group of estates. And then regularly he is managing the field operations. Mainly one thing is, he is very particular about irrigations, shade regulations, and then weeding, then followed by the Pest and disease management, very pakka management has been done in this crop and then he is able to harvest a very high crop by following the intensive package of practice in cardamom. By following the scientific crop management practices, the yield has drastically increased to 400 kilograms per acre from a meager 50 kilograms per acre before the adoption. Now, they are harvesting 2 to 2.5 tons of cardamom from 5 acres of land for the past few years. The farmers are spending 2.5 lakhs of rupees towards the adoption of modern technologies and earn a net return of rupees 3 to 4 lakhs from 5 acres of cardamom alone. Yeah, when we started the uh, work here at the uh, plantation, uh, we faced a lot of problem as far as uh, cardamom was concerned. And um, we felt, uh, we, we actually could not recognize a lot of diseases like cutte, then root rots and things like that. So we wanted some expert advice, so we approached the cardamom research center and uh, they were uh, very, you know, uh, this thing in helping us uh, do this, uh, uh, setting up the whole uh, cultural uh, activity uh, for the cardamom. From right from starting from planting 
till harvesting uh, they you know set up a guideline to us and they uh, helped us in uh, doing that now uh, disease identification like cutte and other things uh, it became after their interaction with us it became very easy to us so all these things you know they helped us uh, control that and uh, even our production like uh, we started off probably we were uh, harvesting about 150 odd uh, kilos of uh, cardamom per uh, year and we came to about 1.5 tons uh, within uh, the three years of you know their uh, intervention uh, here it was the beginning of a journey together crc stood by the farmers guiding them in each stage of cultivation and the enterprising farmers attribute their success to timely crop management practices now sandalkar estate is a model plantation for others to emulate and every year hundreds of farmers and tourists are visiting this estate be it a big or a small plantation scientific management of crops brings better results success of shamweel and faisal is a living testimony to it for those who believe only by seeing the gates of sandalkar estate are open as a shining example to the glorious achievements of crc in bringing economic security to growers through the successful cultivation of this queen of spices